you gonna finish that? <laughs> Just asking. Sean, we gotta talk. Excuse me, I believe I'm with someone. Yeah, of course you are. Hey there. How you doing? Enjoying our little school? Meet any other pigs? We don't get it. No, Sean, this whole thing, I know it's kind of my fault. And I'm sorry for taking the pig aside last night. But what's more important is we shouldn't let a little thing like this get in the way of our friendship, right? I mean... He's only a pig. Yeah, it's only a pig to you, to Panga, and whoever abandoned him at the trailer park. How do you know he was abandoned? The trailer park manager told me his owners just drove off and left him. He's all alone, man. No home, no family, nothing. Poor guy. Yeah, I know what he's going through. I've been there. Don't you see? Yeah, I think I do. I'm not mad at you. You took your girlfriend's side. I'd have probably done the same thing. Pigs and women, man. Yeah, like my dad always said, they'll both break your heart. Come on, Sean. I mean, this is killing me. My best friend and my girlfriend not speaking. It's just not right. Hey, it's her problem. The way I see it, I'm just trying to live my life like any normal teenager. Could you pass the pig shampoo? <laughs> Look, Gaia, I invited Topanga over. Why would you do that? So she can see how much the pig means to you and see what a great home this is. No, forget it. Come on, I'm your friend. Yeah, well, Topanga's not. Just do it for me, then. Please? Okay, for you. But one dig at me or little Cory, and she's gone. Fine. Hi, Cory. Sean, the light bulb was out in the hallway. You may want to tell the superintendent. Uh, that's it? Out! Sean, Sean, clearly no dig there. I'm a little oversensitive. So, Corey says you're going to tell me why this is such a good home for the pig. Topanga, I don't think I have anything to prove. Sean, if I may, please. Topanga, Sean is one heck of a parent. As a matter of fact, just before you got here, he was bathing little Corey in that tub. Where is he? He's gone. I left him in there so long he turned into broth. Well, there's your answer. He walked out. Topanga, you left the door open. Well, that's the kind of thing that happens when a pig lives in the city. I'm going out to look for him. All right, I'll stay by the phone in case he calls. <laughs> Just go. Oh, little Cory, why would you run away? Hunter, I found him outside, heading toward the rib shack. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> you know, this pig has been nothing but trouble. Now I know I did the right thing. What thing? I called animal control. Told them there was a pig that needed a good home. You did what? Topanga, he has a good home. Corey, let's get you out of here. You coming with us? Corey? Let's go. Corey? Look, Topanga, you put me in the middle of something, and I, I, I just got to say, as much as I love you, that just, that wasn't right. And now to call the animal control, I can't believe you would do that. Come on, Sean. We got some serious pig hiding to do. You okay? Mr. Turner, I know you don't like the pig. So why do you let Sean keep it? I don't know. It just seems real important to him, I guess. He takes good care of the little guy. Topanga, when you've had the kind of life Sean's had, I guess just in some ways, Sean needs the pig more than the pig needs Sean. Mr. Turner, I think I made a big mistake.